Outreachy is a program that attempts to increase diversity in open source communities by using mentoring in established open source projects. In this interview, I speak with Victoria Martinez de la Cruz and Julie Pichon about their mentoring experiences in the OpenStack community. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. Let's start with uh, introductions. If you can tell us who you are and uh, what, what projects and teams you work on. Okay, so I'm Victoria Martinez de la Cruz. I'm working in Manila and um, also coordinator for the Obuchi internships. And I'm Julie Pichon. Nowadays I work mostly on Chipotle, but uh, I also used to work on Horizon and when I was mentoring for Outreachy, that's uh, the project I was working on as well. Tell us about Outreachy in OpenStack. How many participants have you had and, and what have they been typically working on? So um, it's quite exciting to see actually the numbers of interns we have in, in, in OpenStack. Um, we have been participating nonstop on from 2013, so we had uh, more than 40 interns from different parts of the world working on more than 15 different projects within OpenStack. Um, we still keep getting um, new interns, and usually rounds are like of three or four more interns, so the number keeps growing and the difference keeps changing since the different you know, focuses we have in OpenStack. When interns work on a, on a project with Outreachy, do most of them typically stay with OpenStack in, in later years? Yeah, we have a really small number of interns that actually uh, landed a full-time position working in OpenStack. Uh, that has been something that we have been discussing before uh, since it's like it's very hard to, to get up you know once you level position within OpenStack. But most of them keep trying to keep involved and engage at least with you know a small tasks and mentoring and you know getting more people involved with OpenStack. If a project is interested in having an outreachy intern working with them, what's the process? Who do they, they speak to? How do they get involved there? <laughs> to you. <laughs> well, not really, actually. Uh, it's it's more about, you know, if you are a mentor, for instance, her, and you want to mentor somebody and you know about this internship, you actually, you know, uh, get in touch with coordinators and then you actually give them a brief idea of what you want to do and uh, coordinate with the rest of the Orichi team in OpenStack to, well, to get interns and to complete the internship. She can tell more about me. Yeah, if, like in terms, as a mentor, you should be aware of things that uh, you're not getting a, an anonymous resource to complete a technical task for you. Um, it's more of a scholarship than an internship, so you should be flexible in terms of maybe changing goals, goalposts during the internship, it makes sense for the intern. And you're not only teaching technical skills to someone, you're also teaching them how to interact with an open source community. Um, and sharing that kind of knowledge, maybe to be able to ask a good question and how to, how to reach out to other people rather than just always a mentor because technical task is important, but being able to interact with the rest of the community is a, it's an important skill and it's difficult to learn on your own as well. So. In your experience doing this, what kind of time commitment was oh. required to be a mentor? Yeah, a few hours a week, it could be as low as a couple of hours, but uh, it's up to the personality and working style of both the mentor and the mentee. I think as a mentor you should try maybe to set up uh, one, one hour every week, a kind of a formal one-on-one -on -one meeting where the mentee can talk about their progress and uh, ask questions, say about what they want to work on next. It's also good during the week to just ask them, you know, just check in, say, how are you? and a little bit for personal conversation as well, just so they are less intimidated maybe, if they, want to, if they have an actual problem and they can reach out to you more easily in the future. So it can be as much or as little as you make it yourself. Um, I think it, it's important to teach the community not to rely too much on you, so if they have a problem, they should learn to, to look on their own for a solution first. And, uh, 
Then when there's a question, they can say, okay, we will have a try and it didn't work. And then you can work together on finding an answer. And also, you don't need to be a core or an expert in your project to be able to mentor in it. <laughs> that was actually my next question. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like when I mentored uh, on Horizon in Victoria, I was actually only three months working on OpenStack or um, on Horizon itself. So I think it turned out to be an advantage because was the getting started stuff and its complexity, it was fresh in my mind. And also it means I didn't have all the answers, so it forced her to start building a relationship with people who actually knew what they were talking about. And I think that's an important part of actually becoming part of the community rather than just walking on the side because you're not sure to just drag in. So you have no need to be called or anything like that. Just have an interest in mentoring and knowing a little bit about your project and contributing to open stuff. Where are we in the in the cycle? When when does the next opening occur for, for new interns? So that's a great question because we actually are ready to start receiving applicants for the next round. Uh, the deadline for application for the next round is going to be 22nd of March. And uh, we actually have, like, we already have um, internship ideas and mentor willing to mentor for the next round. We have like five or more different project ideas. And we are open for any interested applicant that may be willing to work an open stack uh, from uh, May 14 to about 14. What are some of those internship opportunities that you've already identified? So there are several opportunities in a project called Zoom, which is about a container service station in OpenStack. We also have some internships in um, Keystone. Uh, Keystone has applied with three different internship ideas uh, with three different mentors. We also have uh, some ideas for Cinder, um, and I may be forgetting um, another internship <laughs> idea because there were so many different. Yeah, it was it was very good. Still, if, if uh, somebody wants to mentor, and uh, you know, it's it's, it's not closed for mentor. Every idea is welcome because we got applicants with different interests, and uh, maybe there is one internship idea that may be more appealing for somebody. And uh, if the idea is there, it's like it's good to have the more the merrier. How is outreach funded? We got a sponsorship for different companies that want to contribute. In fact, if um, it's not only companies, it's an individual that wants to contribute uh, funding a spot, they can do it. Um, all the payments are being handled by the Conservancy Project. So if you want to sponsor someone, yeah, you're always looking for more sponsors. Usually welcome, yes. Do you have any advice for applicants? Advice for applicants for the next round and what for the all the upcoming ones we may have um, is communication. First of all, uh, we need our applicants to be able to make sure that they communicate well with the community, not only with the mentor that is this for the first idea. It's really common that uh, some interested applicants will send an email previously to you know the list mentor and they don't engage with the rest of the community. Like for instance, if they are applying to Nova, they send an email to somebody in Nova and they don't talk in OpenStack Nova in ARC, for instance, or on the mailing list, and they miss the chance of actually getting help from different mm -hmm. people in the community and to maybe with their questions helping another applicant in their same situation. So we ask them to actually, you know, use the main communication channels which are listed in the wiki pages to express the concerns, uh, to share the ideas, and to ask any question they might have. Um, and also, to they have to, call to make a, a small contribution at the beginning in order to apply. Not to keep only one contribution, but keep engaged with the community, uh, making small fixes and well, uh, helping others as well to, to contribute. That is usually very, very uh, well uh, perceived, so yeah. I think that would be the most important thing for, for applicants at this point. Where do we go to apply either as an applicant or as a mentor? If it's where do we go, so I guess there is a wiki page or there's a the website for... Well, um, for applicants, usually we have different means of contacts. The main uh, application page for Richie is uh, richie.org. 
um, in there you are going to see you know the if you fit the criteria for eligibility you also see the different dates the different organizations not only open start are participating and um, you have their well all the contact information for open start the internship idea the mentors and the coordinators uh, so applicants go there, get that information, and then got redirected to the wiki page with information relevant to OpenStack. And in the case of mentors, usually they get in, uh, in touch with coordinators listed in uh, wiki.openstack.org slash overg. Um, we have all all the contact information merged in that page for, for mentors. Thank you very much.